Hello, hello, everybody. This is Milky. Welcome back to another first impression video. And the game we're trying out today is Wooplas. Actually, this game was highly recommended by a lot of my subs, and the Milky bought it right away and tried it out. And I love, love this so much. You guys are awesome at recommending games, and thank you so much for recommend this. I love it. Actually, Milky just feel fall in love with so much that if uh, a lot of you guys like this first impression video. I want to start a let's play series for it and share more of it with you guys. This might be one of my favorite simulation game of this year. So let's get started. And let's start a brand new game together. Oh gosh, everything in this game is just so super cute. I love it. And what's your name, buddy? Well, our name is Milky. And we can pick our character. Personally, Milky love, love, love this little cute bun hair. It, it totally looks like a Milky's hair. So I'm going to go with it. Please choose for skin tone. Okay. And we can choose some cute clothes. I like this dress. And let's get ready. And I love all the choice. They're all like so wholesome and wholesome and positive. I feel good. And let's go. And then the intro scene is like really Porsche vibe. So we, it basically mentioned that we were living in a small island and now we're going to travel to a big, big new city with a bunch of woodlands. I love our little new pink ship that's driving us towards the city. Oh, isn't that amazing? I just feel like there's a lot of magical things that's going to happen to where we're going. And Jiang Jiang, here we arrived. Oh gosh, this whole town is just so super cute. Look at all the things that's running around. And apparently this super cute girl is the mayor of this town. Oh, I love her little pink hat. And apparently everybody in this town will have a ooplets, which are just like, I don't know, tiny, cuter Pokemon thingy. I don't know whether they're cuter, but like magical Pokemon thingy that's gonna follow us. That's amazing. And the nice mayor offered us a farmhouse. Oh, isn't it lovely that we can always get a farmhouse wherever we want? And the first task we, we need to do is we gotta talk to eight town people. <gasps> There's so many town people around and everybody have a little buddy following them. That is so amazing. Now let's run around the town and trying to talk to everybody. All oh, this clothes shop is so cute. <gasps> we can actually enter it. Oh wow, and there's some shiny thing on the ground. I don't think we can pick it up yet. And that door is locked. Okie dokie. Well, let's just find some people that's walking around and talk to them then. Hello, hello. Charles, you're standing awfully close to me. Oh, I'm sorry, Charles. And then, oh, even he has a little guy. And uh, I think oh, these are the ones that was facing inside the, for um, inside the fountain. <gasps> And we spot some new ooplets. They actually follows us a little bit. That is so cute. <laughs> I just love, love everything about this town and the art style. It's just so unique. I feel like I'm living on a land of uh, adventure time. Isn't that? Uh, it totally feel like we're just running around in adventure time. Oh, and well, we're not a research assistant. <gasps> and we actually got something. Gang bo bo. Okay, gimme gimme. <laughs> I love how when you receive an item, instead of calling it get, we it will show gimme. And here's a little book that we can go through. Here's all the friends that we met. And apparently we'll get more wooblets and badges and <gasps> some cute creatures. Oh gosh, I just love it. I have a good Pokemon plus uh, Stardew Valley and the Harvest Moon vibe out of this game. <gasps> and we got some bungle bee bung. <laughs> and the bungle bee is so cute. Can we have it too one day? I really, really hope so. And ah, uh, oh, it seems like that's something that will help us recover our energy. Okie dokie. And here we enter the cutesy wooblilla zone. Look at them. They were just following Milky. Oh, I love them so much. Apparently, this town is just full of cute, cute creatures. And we need to find one more person to talk to. Hello, hello, you're right. The next person. How do you, dear? My number's not up, isn't it? Aww. Well, she's me and she runs a gardening shop. Oh, that's amazing. I would love to be able to sell flowers. I can't, can't wait to start some farming and some animal petting too. 
Splenda, everyone is here now. I love everyone. And apparently we will have a Oblet club leader. So it's almost like picking your starting Pokemon. <laughs> and this is the club for the sweet cuties who love cute things. Sounds like Mewki. And Peak Snobs. Born leaders, strong competitors, and generally success people. <laughs> you should be pitching to me. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then this is for techie people. Okay. And what is this one? I actually love this one. Club for woozy, outdoorsy type who love a good adventure. <gasps> it's such a tough choice between a cute one or the woozy outdoor one. Well, Yuki decided, I usually pick cute things. This time, I'm going to try this little mushroom little thing. Oh, so we're going to join the Miso Sprout. Here's the new pot to start your adventure with. Oh, look at how he's running towards me. Oh, that is so, so, so amazing. I love it. Yeah, we do look like a perfect match. Oh, the art style is just so amazing. Well, you should try getting into a dance-off. Dance-off? <laughs> oh, that's a special Pokemon fight, isn't it? They're a mysterious creature and they apparently love dancing. Okay, I would love to do some dancing with them. And that's how conflicts resolved? Well, where are we going to find a competitor? Are we going to fight with the mayor? Lump stump. Look at them! <laughs> oh, they look kinda kinda strong. I don't know whether we will be able to win. Okay, let's get ready with some dance off. <laughs> I love how the whole town just gathers and the start this dance off. So the dance off is basically like a card game. And each turn we can play some cards on our hand in order to earn points. For example, Milky is gonna spend, play this card which earns our six points. And whoever wins the 20 points first will win the dance-off. And here's our energy or beats. So Milky only have one beat left and I'm going to do a little small mushroom dance. Oh, it seems like we're really heating up the floor. I don't think the stump can win. Look at his dance. Oh, oh, actually he got some moves. Look at that. <laughs> I love how they actually do the dance moves. That is so amazing. Well, I think for us, I really want to play this two one. And then maybe I can just add a move to my hand then. Let's see what's gonna what are we going to get? Oh I got one that I can't use. Steals three points. Oh, that is amazing, but I can't use it. So we're just gonna do shake it. <laughs> I love how a shake it move is so strong. I don't think the stump is gonna win. <gasps> one hype. Oh gosh, he's really hyping up the audience. And now we can use the steel three point. Well sorry, let's try it. Steal, steal, steal! Oh, now he has zero point. <laughs> I actually feel bad. And he earned another hype. I just love this epic, epic dance But he doesn't even have a point, so I'm going to gain a bit. Oh, and then at least, at least hype everybody up, so we can. Oh, we, we just need a little bit more and three points. Okay, I think Nuki is pretty sure that we're going to win this epic dance battle. Look at everybody being hyped by us. Well, he's playing all the hype, but we are making all the points. There we go, yay! <laughs> I bet the dance off is going to get a lot more epic and super challenging later in the game, but... <laughs> I just love this. Actually, playing this game makes Miyuki feel like so happy. It's so positive and everything is like so happy and jiggly. Well, we also got some seeds from him. I don't know where he got that, but... Plant me to grow a new friend. <gasps> That's amazing! So we can plant those little thingies out of the ground? I would love to do that. Now that we finished our epic dance off, I think we're going to the farmhouse. Oh gosh, I think they're angry at Milky. Look at that. Sorry for winning. Well, let's go rush to our our little farmhouse. You can see there's a little arrow on the ground that's showing us the farmhouse, which is amazing. And th there's wooblets everywhere. And you can see there's little mushroom wooblets that's going to wooblets that's going to follow Milky everywhere from now on. I love it. <gasps> That's our house? That's actually the brokenest house I've seen. Not much right now, but what do you expect from a free house? Well, I guess that's fair and square. Hopefully we can add sponges and make it look better. 
And we got some new things, some standard seeds, a little scraper, and then, okay, uh, we are going to do our typical farming stuff, which is more Milky is the most familiar with. You might not know, but Milky actually have like years of experience <laughs> in, in Harvest Moon and the uh, and Stardew Valley and all the farming games that Milky has played. And then we're going to put the seeds down. Oh no! Why I was saying I have uh, experience, I made, a, made it wrong. Now we're gonna plant the sweet bean. I also want to try plant the things that I got from the from the little little guy that we just beat. And we planted everything. Just need to water it. A basic dribbler. I love how they have a unique name for everything. Instead of a water can, it's gonna be named dribbler. I think our oh, <laughs> our house is leaking so much. Maybe we could just get the water from here. Oh well, we cannot. But that's okay. Let's fill it with water. Okay, everything is so smooth. I love the control. It's pretty easy to use and I love love it Hopefully we can upgrade our water can later also Oh, now we got it all and uh, but I still have one more Well, if this is harvest moon, I think even though it's the first day I'll probably start cleaning my cleaning my farm already, but apparently I can't at least I can Water the last plant. Yes, you're not gonna trick me. I'm going to plant everything, water everything, and let's go into our broken, <laughs> leaking house. At least the inside is not leaking, but oh, it's so sad. Oh, look at all the stuff we can cook. At least it's better than Harvest Moon, where we actually have a kitchen starting out. In Harvest Moon, we won't, but I think our interior is nicer. Look at this sad little bed. I think we're gonna get, get some real painful night's sleep. The first thing Milky want to do is upgrading our bed. Well, actually, I think we should get a backpack. Where does the little mushroom sleep, I wonder? And here's another beautiful morning. <gasps> They're already growing. I love it. Okay, I see that we have an energy bar out there. And then we can get our energy by sleeping and eating stuff. Pretty standard simulation stuff. And... Uh, here we go, everything is looking great. I wonder, can I double water it? Uh, no. Go explore around or something. Okay, let's go explore around the town. And here's a little map of the town. It seems like there's a hot air balloon and you can actually see where people are walking. That is so cute. I want to visit so many places. Well, let's start with this. Let's go into the seeds farm. Actually, do we have money? Can we buy it? <gasps> Actually, I have some money right away. Oh, it's a token. Some sort of token. Not sure how to use it yet. And look at this drizzle dribber. But it's so expensive. We don't have any money yet. So hopefully we can just talk to the owner and he give us something. Nope. That's fine. We'll just keep exploring. Hello. What angle does a baseball hat has to be on my head to signal that I'm a cool dude these days? Uh, any angle. Is there a man sleeping inside here? Oh, we, c we cannot use it just yet, unfortunately. Oh, the whole town is just so cute. I like taffy. Oh, can we search the garbage can? Oh, this is the first simulation game. I can't search the garbage can. Milky is not used to this at all. How do you, how do you sprout? You look like you are up for adventure. Aw, sounds like you're already on an adventure. I'm Gipo. Once I get my head hot air balloon fixed, I will be able to show you all around the woo. <gasps> I'll be so happy. I can't wait for this hot air balloon to be fixed and we can go around. Maybe there's even other la lands outside here. That would be amazing. <gasps> this girl, she has so many shiny things in her house. What can we get? I got a gun. I think that's the gold inside this game or something. And then what's this? <laughs> Carrot. Boring and healthy, but you can put it into a carrot cake. <gasps> That's amazing. I feel so bad just going around her house randomly and start digging for stuff. Sorry, but just move a little bit. Let me take the stuff out of your drawer right now. It's only social acceptable to ask someone how business is going if you're a shareholder. Okay, seems like she's a businesswoman. And we got some kind of uh, ground spring beans. And we can use it to make bean juice. That's amazing. Well, I'm glad she wasn't offended by me digging through all her places. Let me just quickly run out. And hello. 
Dalio. Oh, I forgot. You're not from around here. Dalio is a pretty common greeting around the mainland. Wu, I guess. It's like, how do you do? Well, I guess in, in the future, Miyuki is gonna say, Dalio, Dalio, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. I would rather say hello, hello, everybody. Oh, it's locked. But oh, we can actually pull the mushroom from the house too. And there's a little tree house. Anybody inside? Oh, unfortunately, it's all locked. Well, I bet we'll figure out something about it later. And whose house is this? Healthy home. Everybody else's home looks so much nicer than Miyuki's. We keep getting all different kinds of tokens. I wonder what are we going to get one day out of all these tokens. I actually found so much money from this place. This is amazing. I don't know whose house it is, but she sure is rich. She's giving all the money. We can actually choose to dance with them or pet them. Let's try pet them. Oh, that's so cute. Look at them. I love it. And uh, where can we go here? Can we go in? It's a barn. It's a dance barn. Oh, gosh. I wonder what's a dance barn. And then we can get some stuff maybe from the mush. There are so many mushrooms and uh, just random items laying around here that I love it. And what's this golden thing? You earned a new badge and some recipe piece. Okay. And since she has some shinies uh, from the outside, maybe she has more inside. <gasps> she does. Oh, what happened? From the mayor. Hopdo, you earned your first badge. We're all about a badge here, so hoping I'll be awarding you with a bunch more. Check your gun board for what other badges you can get. <gasps> I wonder. Oh, I got so many stuff out of it. <laughs> does, that does that mean that the mayor is always looking at us and checking what are we doing? She knows that I dig through 10 people's stuff. Oops. And she gave us a badge about it. Okay. I guess this town really encourages me digging around. Well, we got some gums. Okay, that's good stuff, good stuff. What is this magical little door? Is Jerry living inside here? And we got some carrot seed. I love that. And we got some recipes. We got some like hard little thing. A fung bung token. And sorry lady, I need to go around. I feel like there's something shiny there. <gasps> Another recipe. That's amazing. Hello. Oh, how rude of me to just dig through your place without even saying hello to you. Well, now that we got tons of things. What else? What's inside here? I think oh, this is a science club. Oh, and there's a Hank bot. It's a Rugla Hanker bot invention. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Where is everybody though? Hello, science girl. She is definitely the Saints girl. Hello, how's the gun board working out for you? No schedule explosion? Yep, that magical book thingy. Good, good. And here's our police. <gasps> did, you, did you guys see the police officers? Wu Blads also have a police hat. That is so cute. Is that you, Blackbird? Black I'm not sure what's a Blackbird. Welcome to the town. Thanks. Um, and that's the end of our town. I think there's more down there. Oh gosh, the whole town is just so funny, funny, fun. Hmm. Mm. But Milky want to find out what are all the shiny things. I want to collect more shiny things. It seems like we can also shake the tree and get some stuff out of the tree. We got some spiky and sweet weed. Then also, here's a hair color place. Oh gosh, I want to change the new hair color. Well, I want to change a new hairstyle. Hey dear, sorry, I just moved into town. Oh nice, I'm parking around a hair salon or a barber shop. <gasps> That's amazing. I love barber shop. That means we can change our hairstyle. And who doesn't love a little big good hairstyle? Oh, we can also collect some mysterious can. Not sure what's that. Oh, did you guys see the mayor? Let, let, let me exit and show you guys. The mayor is practicing her dance there. That is so cute. Hello, Mayor. Get your access to Ting Tingstow's uh, task board. Okay, I would love to do that. Ah, uh, we got our first task, which is get another dance off with some big bad guys who took over Mayor's hall. 
Okay, I would love to do that with the mayor, but we're also at the end of our video. Well, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this little first impression. I definitely love the game. You can see it's super cutesy, vibrant, positive. I don't think Miyuki have enough positive words in my word list to describe this game. I just love it so much. Even though this game is still in early access, I feel like it's pretty pretty polished. But I do need to play more to share you guys whether it has enough content for us to keep playing. Well, definitely let me know if you guys like this game and want to see Miyuki play more about it. I would love love to start a Let's Play series for it. Well, thank you guys so so much for recommending this game. This is an awesome choice. And please please let me know if you have any other game you would like to recommend to Miyuki because I would would love to try it out you guys have a great taste and as always thank you guys so so much for watching and special thanks for my awesome patreon donors you guys are always the best and you support me to do what i like to do and i will see you guys next time <laughs>